And when you look back on your career... You guys, please put your mask on correctly, or you can't you've be had, here. You've had so many huge victories against guys, all different weight classes, uh, Hall of Famers. Is there a fight that was the most satisfying to you, or your, your, you think was your greatest victory? The most uh, greatest victory is uh, the De La Hoya fight. Can you say why? You, you know why? Because... Because I came from 135 to 147. Yeah. That's uh, unusual. I mean, I mean, uh, not many boxers can can do that. I mean, from from 122, 126 to 135, and then moving up to 147. Wow. And that, that was a fight that wasn't even for a world title. <laughs> and that's you're saying even a non-world title fight is your biggest victory. It was Oscar. Oscar. I mean, yeah. 147. That was a great event. Yeah, and then Terrence Crawford has been trying to get a fight with you for a very long time. Can you just elaborate why that fight never came to fruition? You almost have a fight with uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, just uh, other times, you know, also um, pandemic affect the, the negotiation like that. There's uh, so many consideration like that. So, but uh, as long as I'm still in boxing, I'm open to and willing to fight Terrence Crawford. Errol Spins or anybody. Um, if you become the president of the Philippines, would you challenge President Biden? <laughs> <laughs> Many, a lot of people consider you as the greatest fighter ever. What goes through your mind when you hear a compliment like that? A very big compliment. Uh, Dorabha for uh, the people thinking about that. I mean, I said thank you very much uh, for people thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, thinking about that, uh, it's an honor, but uh, you know, I'm a kind of person that uh, all my achievements and accomplishments in life I don't put here in my, my head. I always, I always consider my, myself as, as a, a, a humble and a same, uh, an ordinary person like anybody else. I mean, that's me, that's me, that's in my heart. Because who am I to become a, a, a boastful, become a, a uh, you know? Uh, I came from nothing into something, and I want to be an inspiration to, to all of you, to all the people of the world, not especially boxing fans. Manny, is this the first Cuban fighter you faced, Manny? And if so, you know, who does Ugas remind you of that you fought in the past? Is he similar to anybody you fought in the past, you feel? Uh, Ugas... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't think you. I think this is the first. This is my first time. Yeah. Yeah. First time. Does he remind you of anyone that you fought though? The type of style that he has. Tall, oh, not like that. Um, remind me. No. <laughs> so this is a unique thing. Unique, unique thing. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you make of, of that? You know that challenge because a lot of fighters with a week notice and maybe two, three days of sparring would have been like, nah, you know what, this is too risky. Like, I'm, uh, I'm too much at a disadvantage here. I won't take I think fight. if uh, going way around, like uh, you're preparing for uh, right-handed and then switching to South Pole, and you're not used to it fight, fighting South, South Pole, then I might think about maybe cancel it because uh, it's a South Pole. But this time around, I'm preparing for South Pole, but uh, switching to right-handed, but I'm always fighting a right-handed in my career, so right. it's not hard for me to adjust. Uh, earlier you mentioned Austin Delaware. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on coming up against Peter Zola. Do you think of him coming back? <coughs> I think because that's his passion. Boxing is passion. If, if the sport is your passion, even you leave it, like you know, you you will miss it. That's why I don't want to. I don't want in my career. I don't want that happen. That I'm going to retire now and come back again. You no, know, you know, it's the time is. You know, so wasted. you would never do an exhibition then. Who? You. Me. Floyd Mayweather. Oh. You too. No. Against Floyd Mayweather. I have uh, I have another work to do <laughs> besides boxing. You know, no, I'm people. Guys, last I have, question. Which, I, I love to help people. Which Manny record Pacquiao. of yours? Which record of yours will never be broken? The four decade champion or the eighth division champion? Well, I think Probably both. both. That, that's hard to have four decades. But champion. oldest welterweight champion, which you can break again on Saturday. The oldest? You're the oldest welterweight champion when you beat Thurman, but I if will, you beat I will break my record. Break his record. What do you think about that? I will break my own record. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Record, yeah. Do you think? Um, yeah, I'm happy for that. I'm um, uh, adding a record to my uh, resume. I mean, 
no, the accolade. And not only that, but for the boxing, boxing at least um, at the, at my career and boxing for 20, more than 20 years, I inspired people. I'm I giving inspiration. I, I already give inspiration to the people, and you know, putting a a, a, a record in boxing history. Um, that's not easy, so it's an honor for me. Um, I was, I, I am blessed by God because, you know, I'm, I'm not tall, I'm, I'm small, but you know, in God, there's. Thank you, man. Last question, right here, right here. Manny, uh, you look back on your career, what's more important to you, the belt in the championship, or what you've been able to accomplish outside of the ring because of that? Sorry? What's more important to you, a belt that you win in the ring, or what you do outside the ring as a public servant? Uh, thank you for that question. You know, my heart desire, if, if you ask me, material things in this world is not important to Manny Pacquiao. Whatever I have done, my fame, my, my record, what is that, my position in the government, what my, my, my what I have that what I have is not important for me. My important is my relationship to God and how I can help people and how I can inspire people. Amen. You know that's my 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 uh, my priority in my heart. You know things coming out and out and out, but your relationship to God is the most important thing and to be an inspiration. Love that, brother. Later on, when Mani Pacquiao, no more in this world, after 50 years to 40 years like that, you know, I want them to remember me that Mani Pacquiao is not only a, 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 one of the good boxers in, in the ring, but he's a, a friendly guy, he's a nice guy, he's helping people like that. We should show it the real love to each other outside the ring. Boxing is, is, is fighting each other, entertainment, entertainment boxing is yeah, doing our best. Like, One more over here. You know, but outside the ring, be an inspiration to everyone. Where are you? That's my, my, my heart come desire. Up here? Thank you, sir. Bring it up here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I'm so thankful to all of you. Um, deep in my heart, God knows my heart. I'm so thankful to all of you, media, because of you. We become popular. We become uh, known to uh, all over the world. Because you are you helping us, so supporting boxing. It's a, uh, I've always considered that and thinking about that. So thankful for all of you. And of course, God is a uh, golden time. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tim. All right, thank you. Thank you. And then we got two over here. And then we're